New details released today concerning Utah's new $20,000 first-time homebuyer assistance program. Utahns can start reserving that money two weeks from today. New specialist Lad Egan has been tracking this program since the beginning and joins us with an update. Lad? Yeah, we're learning today that first-time home buyers can start reserving their $20,000 loan on July 11. And you don't have to have your new home, townhome, or condo picked out just yet. You just have to be pre-approved with a lender in order to lock in your place. They've specifically set it aside for Utah home buyers. So you must be a resident in Utah for at least 12 months. So it's not for transplants coming into the state. It's for locals, at least with a residency of one year. Cameron Bishop with Ranlife Home Loans says there's a lot of anticipation for Utah's new home buyer program because first time buyers have had a rough time recently. People are really excited about it. You know, you have a lot of newlyweds or people coming out that need funds. They need help. They'd love to own a home. They'd love to get into condo. They'd love to get into townhouse. But where do you start right now? And especially with inflation going on and prices are being higher, it's harder to save up. So c coming into $20,000 to help you get into your first home is, is a real, real help for a lot of people. After a reservation is made, the Utah Housing Corporation says people can start closing on their homes on or after July 25th. There are no monthly payments on the loan and it's 0% interest. You just have to pay it back once you sell the home or refinance. The $20,000 loan can be used for a down payment, closing costs, or to buy down the mortgage interest rate. It's only available for new construction priced below $450,000. I see a lot of townhomes and condos. I work with a lot of builders, um, and, and that is kind of their sweet spot for a condo or a townhome is the 450 or less range. Real estate agent Jamie Kinder says the program will help those who may have given up on home ownership. She says the fact that the loan can be used for an interest rate buy-down is attractive to her clients, making their monthly payments more affordable. It doesn't have to be your forever home, and for first-time home buyers, the, the trick to, is just get in somewhere and get started because then you'll see your equity start building and you can move on from there. So a lot of people's wealth comes from owning a, owning a home and you've got to start somewhere. And that one year resident qualification applies to the date that you close on the loan, not the date that you make the reservation. The legislature approved $50 million for this program. That should help about 2,400 homebuyers. Reporting in Sandy, Lad Egan, KSL 5 News.